you guys welcome back to my channel in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this look right here I think it's perfect for spring just because it has those pinky undertones and it's going into the color realm but it is still very neutral appropriate for daytime just preparing you for spring okay again this is a one palette tutorial and I'll be using the naked I mean the urban decay naked three palettes if you guys have missed any of my one palette tutorials I will make a playlist and have it linked down below for you guys because I have been going through all of my naked palettes I've created I think two looks for each palette so far the next one is going to be the naked smoky and then I don't know, you guys can throw suggestions at me at which palette maybe you have and I'll see if I have it in my collection or if any eyeshadows that you would like for me to try and do a video on. Just whatever you guys want. Give me suggestions and I will try to fulfill them. <laughs> so it is a one palette tutorial and I really love this look. It, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't look that far off from my last um, tutorial that I did on the Naked 3 palette. But this time I didn't use liner. Um, to me it kind of looks the same. It's just a little bit pinker. This palette is just a hit and a miss with me honestly but that's neither here nor there. Uh, yeah so I hope you guys like this video. If you guys do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss anything else from my channel. Also follow my Instagram so that you can find inspiration and more pictures on this look. So thank you guys so much for watching. No. Onto the tutorial. Don't stop the video here. Just go on to the tutorial. <laughs> okay, so I kind of want a laid back look for today, but I'm still gonna go with my Marc Jacobs because I really love how much coverage it gives me. It just makes the rest of my look so much easier. So the first thing I'm gonna start off with is of course my DIY face mist. And I'm just going to replenish my face with moisture. I do have a moisturizer on already that has SPF, but this just kind of locks in the moisture and it makes my foundation apply so much better. So over that face mist, I always like to apply my Smashbox primer water, but I actually got a new primer and I thought this one was quite interesting. It's the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer Longwear. This has 12 hour power so it's a long wear primer and this is already a long wear concealer this is already a long wear foundation but I really wanted to test out this primer it has kind of like a plasticky kind of smell I smell it on my hands I don't smell it on my face it has a really nice creamy texture and it leaves your face is like almost sticky so I know that my foundation is gonna apply well or adhere well to this so I like it now I'm just gonna go right into foundation and the foundation I'm gonna be using is the Marc Jacobs remarkable foundation this is in 33 beige and I'm gonna just apply a very tiny amount and my favorite brush to uh, smooth this onto the skin is the Sigma flat kabuki F80 brush. This one just moves it around a lot nicer than a sponge would. Okay, so that primer definitely made blending a little bit harder. Um, so the foundation really is going to stick to wherever you put that primer. It made it a bit harder to blend because the foundation didn't want to move as easily as it does. Um, but I still got the same amount of coverage and it did make it a little more matte I don't like matte because I have dry skin so it's okay though moving on to concealer the concealer I'm gonna be using is this Maybelline instant age or wine dark circle eraser and going in with my real technique sponge because I love it so now that I'm concealed, I'm going to go in with this Bare Minerals. This is the original foundation in medium beige to set my under eyes. I'm still trying to find like a good product to set my under eyes with because I don't want a translucent powder. I just think it's way too light to bake. But I don't know. I don't know, you guys. This might be a mistake. 
Okay, so while that bakes for a little bit, I am going to do my eyebrows off camera and one eye also off camera, and then I'll be back to show you what I did. The next color I'm going to go into is Nooner, and that's going to go slightly underneath Limit, but to deepen up the crease. Even though this color doesn't show up well on me, the next color I'm going to go into is Buzz, and that's going to go on my lid. Then next to that, I'm going to go into the color Liar to brighten up the center of the lid. Then I'll be going into Dark Side really lightly to deepen out that outer edge. Now I'm going to be going into this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the color Stag. It's a brown color and that's going to go on as liner and I'm going to smudge that out. I'm also going to use that pencil to quickly tight line. Now for my lower lid, I'm going to mix together Liar and Factory. And just to define the lashes a little bit, I'm going to go into Dark Side with a pencil brush. For my waterline, I'm going into this NYX Wonder Pencil in Medium. And for mascara, I'm going into both the NYX Faux Lashes Fiber Infused Luscious Volume Mascara and then I'm also going to go into the Buxom Vanity Lash Mascara. For lashes, I'm going back to my classics, the Tep Eyelashes in Crazy About You. Okay then you guys, for the face, I already did half of the face, I just lightly contoured, put on a bronzer and some blush, so I'm going to quickly breeze on through this part because quite frankly I think this is the most boring part of the video. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to go into is as always my Smashbox Contour Palette, I'm going to go into that contour shade with this Moon River brush that I love so much for contouring, this is like my new favorite for contouring. Then for the bronzer, I'm just going to go right into this bronzer that's right here into the pa in the palette. For highlighter, I'm going into my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. And for blush, I'm going to go with something quite different. This is the Kiko Soft Touch Blush in 112. And I really think that this color looks super pretty with this look. So for lips, the first thing that I'm going to go into is this Urban Decay Glide On Lip Pencil in the color Naked. Um, I'm first going to line my, li my lips because I am using lipstick and not a liquid lipstick. Now I am going to fill that in with lipstick and the lipstick I'm going with is this Rimmel Lasting Finish by Kate Lipstick in the color 14. This is a classic me color. I absolutely love the shade. Then lastly, just to lighten that shade out, I am going to use this NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee, which has been one of my favorites lately, and that is going to go right over top. And this, you guys, is the completed look 
perfect for spring. At least I think so. I think it's gorgeous for spring, pinky, just fresh, really floral looking, I guess. I love the lips. I haven't had glossy lips in a really long time. But anyways, hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss any more from my channel. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye. He kicked down the two uh, rear view windows. He kicked down the back bumper, the front bumper. He kicked in a window. He was like going ape shit on my